Hi guys, it's Amy Jabelt, your Norwex Independent Consultant. Today we're gonna to talk about washing your washing machines. So many of our appliances run constantly, they take on everyday wear and tear, and they're often neglected and overused to the point that they have to be replaced, which can be expensive. Cleaning your machine will help it last longer and it will help your clothes be much fresher. If you think about it, cleaning your machine makes absolute sense. The machine removes dirt from cloths from your clothes and that dirt needs to go somewhere so dirt bacteria and fungus can accumulate inside the washing machine and the piping which can lead to significant problems the rule of thumb is to clean your machine once a month which i try to do i have i do it a little bit less uh, recently so i need to get back to that also leaving the lip or the top of your washing machine open when it's not in use will allow it to dry out and it's gonna cut down on the mildew buildup, which we definitely don't want in our clothes. Front load washing machines, they also have a filter on the very bottom that needs to be cleaned out and emptied every six months or so. And be sure not to use too much product when you're doing your laundry. The general rule of thumb when using the Norwex detergent is a teaspoon per load for a high efficiency and a tablespoon per load for a regular washer. And you never want to use bleach or fabric softeners, especially with your Norwex cloths, because bleach degrades the fabric of our cloths and fabric softener coats our Norwex and other items in a film that's not only hazardous to our health from the Vox, so the volatile organic compounds, but it also coats and breaks down the fabric. Plus it's really hard on our pocketbooks, let's face it. Back to cleaning our machine, which is why you're here. I don't recommend using bleach or vinegar to clean your washing machine. I used to do that and have changed the way I do things. Now bleach is toxic when inhaled and it actually encourages um, mold growth on many surfaces because it provides excess moisture. Bleach contains about 90% water and when you apply bleach to a surface, the chlorine quickly evaporates leaving behind much of the water, then that water encourages mold growth. This is another reason we should never use bleach to treat mold issues in our home. Bleach also breaks down and destroys the silicone. Now vinegar, it's long been a popular go-to for the wash as a fabric softener, getting rid of stains, and even odors in your laundry. But as with dishwashers, it can damage the rubber seals and hoses in most washing machines to the point of causing leaks. Front load washing machines are especially susceptible to vinegar related damage. Vinegar also uh, totally voids most washing machine warranties. I go with a safer, more effective solution when cleaning my washing machine. The process I use does not harm our septic system the machine itself, our health, or my pocketbook. So the more often I clean, the better. So what if you have a new washing machine? I get that a lot, but my washing machine's new, I just got it. A brand new washing machine will have some water inside it because most manufacturers tested it at the manufacturing plant. Before we purchase the machine, the manufacturer tests the washer to ensure it's in good working order. Then the machine is packed up and shipped to our store or our home. Some of the water may not dry out entirely by the time the washer arrives to our home and that moisture is a breeding ground for mold and bacteria, which we definitely don't want in our wash. So it would be best if you did not use a brand new washing machine straight away. There are a few crucial things that you want to do first and check before you do that. When it comes to washing machines, the first thing you must do is remove any of the transport brackets if you're dealing with a new unit and the bolts. Ensure that it's on a level surface and you want to run a wash cycle before washing any laundry. Running an empty wash cycle will help clean out any dirt and dust inside the machine. Now bear in mind, a brand new washing machine, it's factory fresh, right? 
but there's no telling how long it's been sitting in storage or in the packaging material. I do try to clean my washing machine about once a month. And if you follow me, you know I exclusively use Norwex products. My go-to for cleaning my washing machine is the Norwex Microfiber Laundry Booster. It is amazing. Our booster has many uses. So here's a close up. It is an enzyme based microfiber cleaner laundry booster. It provides extra help when and where you need it. It helps eliminate tough laundry stains, odors like grass, urine, blood, grease, grime, and a lot more, even in hard water situations and without harmful chemicals from bleach or ammonia or some synthetic fragrances. It is safe for all machines and all fabrics, and I do use it as a hot water pre-soak as a part of my regular laundry routine when I'm dealing with some really tough issues. I also use the microfiber laundry booster to deep clean my Norwex cloths every three to six months. If you're using Norwex laundry detergent, you'll notice that you will not have to clean your washer as frequently, especially when you're omitting bleach and fabric softener. So here's how I quickly clean my washing machine with Norwex. The first thing I do is I wipe down all the grooves, cracks, and crevices, preferably with a Norwex Enviro cloth. I also like using an Enviro sponge, which has scrubby on one side. I also use our utility brush for the little tiny crevices. And then I add a full scoop of the microfiber laundry booster and I run it on the clean cycle. And like magic, you're done. The booster is free from bleach, synthetic fragrances, SLS, SLES, phosphates, fillers, sulfates, chlorine, dyes, phthalates, ammonia, and optical brighteners. Doesn't get any better than this. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna post a couple videos of me cleaning out my washing machine the other day and just show you how I use some of the Norwex tools to do that. And I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I will see you soon.